from North Texas talks fast and that speed helps bring in a lot of money. She was just named champion at an international competition for auctioneers and Fox 4 Shannon Murray sat down with Morgan Hobson to talk about her new title and her path to success. Finalist number 20, who is Morgan Hobson. Let's go back to the stage. That stage in New Orleans, the site of this year's International Auctioneer Championship. In the final round, competitors sell two items in front of a live audience and a panel of judges. Here we go. Why did tonight, guys? What do you say? Auctions on. Have a dollars on it. But I get 25, but I get 25, 30, but I get 30, not 35, but I get 35. And with that, sold it your way. $225 sold it. She won. I'm the 2019 Women's International Auctioneer Champion. It's a prestigious award for Morgan Hobson, the 30 year old first generation auctioneer from the small town of Bonham near the Texas Oklahoma line. I can't say that I ever in a million years would have dreamed of being an auctioneer, but I wholeheartedly believe that God leads us in life where we're supposed to be if we listen. She graduated from Texas Christian University with degrees in music and business. Then a family friend hired her to do marketing for his real estate auction company. I went to auction school for 10 days just to learn about the business and really enjoyed it, found it really intriguing and found a lot of similarities um, from the music side of things as far as performance, the dedication to hone your craft, the practice it takes, um, the way we evoke emotion out of an audience. The rest is history. Now 75, but I get 75. You know I mean? She now works upwards of 40 events a year. Hobson typically sells real estate or helps a charity bring in money. We met at Scottish Rite Hospital in Dallas, which partners with the Texas Auctioneers Association for a children's fun auction every December. For them to entrust us with that opportunity and to be able to give back and to raise money, knowing that they're going out and they're helping others, that's, you know, you couldn't ask for anything more. It's a male dominated industry. Only 17% of auctioneers nationwide are women. Hobson hopes to inspire others to consider the field. There's a place in the auction business for everyone, whether you're in fundraising, whether you're in your real estate, if you're in livestock. To bring in the big bucks, it takes talent and a lot of practice. 125, 150, but I'm 150, would get 150, come back in, $150. But the hard work, quite literally, pays off. We raise a couple thousand dollars one night, the next night we may go somewhere else and raise over a million dollars. So how do they do it? An auction is a three-part chant. Okay. Um, you state what you have, then you state what you're asking for, and then you actually ask for that next item. So it would sound something, you know, you'd say, um, I'm bid 25, now 30, what do you give 30? Sounds simple enough. If you speed it up, it would sound something like, how about a dollars on it, but I get 25, but I get 25, 30, but I get 30, now 35, but I get 35, 30 bid here, now 35, but I get 30. It's now, not. 30, now 45, but I get 45, 50, 45 bid here, now 50, but I get 50, 50 here, now 60, but I get 60, 50 bid here, now 60, but I get 60, 50 bid, now 60, but I get 60. Sold it your way, $50, sold it, $50. Shannon Murray, <laughs> Fox yeah. 4 News. Okay.